Hello, welcome to OnlineEnglishTeacher.com. This is a YouTube channel. My name is Michael. Remember, please comment, like, and subscribe to our videos to see more videos in the future. So today's topic, very quickly, will be what is MLA? MLA is a Modern Language Association. It's a formatting style used for various humanity disciplines, such as English uh, classes or humanity classes or history classes. Oh, but it depends on the professor or instructor, right? <clears throat> so MLA papers uh, styles should be typed in 3.5 white paper over 11, right? Everything has to be double spaced. Uh, the use of 12 point uh, times Roman font, right? Or something similar. Uh, leave only one space after the punctuation, yeah? Set all margins to one, e one inch on all sides and indent the first line of the paragraph half an inch. Okay, like we were talking about before. Uh, so MLA is quite different from APA. Uh, there's some similarities, but there's also some major differences. For example, uh, MLA does not have a title page. You just put your name, uh, your instructor's name, uh, the class you're taking and the date. Right, and then your title of your essay, and then you write. Uh, and then you, after immediately after your title, you can have your introductory paragraph. Everything is double spaced. Uh, what I mean by that is that there's a. I think on here. Let me see if I can find it on the. Uh, well, no, I can't find it here. Uh, here it is. So everything has to be 2.0 double spaced. Uh, not so much for PowerPoints, but for uh, Word documents, all right? So you list your name, your instructor's name, the course, the date, and the upper left-hand corner, right? And we'll get an example of that in the next slide. And then center title page, right? Uh, depending if you're gonna title your page uh, uh, creatively or just gonna title it something very basic. As well, uh, the header, which is the top of the page, I'll show you on the next page, also has to have your last name and the page number. So here's a good example of it, right? This is the person's name, right? Charles Lucas. So Charles Lucas is the title of the person, the author of this essay. <clears throat> Dr. J. Austin is the instructor of the class. And then the class is English 106, as well as the date as October or 13th of October, 2018 or 28. And then you have to have your last name over here on the header with page one and Lucas. We don't really need this dash right here. That's maybe optional depending on your teacher, but usually the it's without this little mark right here, right? And then you have your title page, Building a Dream, Reason to Expand Rose at the Stadium. And then, in, and then immediately indent into introductory paragraph, right? And then let's continue the next slide. Okay, and then in text citations, um, the difference between MLA and APA is that MLA usually, for example, you don't need the date or the year of the citation. Right, you just need the author or the page number, right? Or you can just put the page number <clears throat> if you already have all, uh, already have stated the author's name. Then you can just put the page number here. Or if you're trying to uh, uh, use the index uh, uh, citation as a quote, then you would have to put the author's name, last name, and then the page number. But usually, you just have to put the the author's last name if you're doing a direct quote. And then we'll be going over those uh, types of in-text citation quotes, uh, summarization, paraphrasing, and how you could quote them in the next video. Lastly, how to cite your reference page. I'll make another video with this as well because uh, I just want to touch on it briefly. Works cited page. In the list of works cited, each entry is made up of key parts that are given to a certain order, right? Everything has a certain order. The main part should be put in the same order as they are here. The punctuation mark shown here comes after each part. So we have the author, right? We have Baron, 
right? Baron Naomi, right? So it's usually the last name, first name. Title of the source, redefining reading, right? The impact of digital communication media. Title of container, which would be right here, the N P M L A volume this. And then other contributors, we don't have that right now. Version, uh, volume could probably be as a version as well. Uh, numbers, right? Like number one. And then uh, publishers. Uh, I don't think we have any publishers. And the second one, we have Oxford as a publisher, right? Uh, publication date, January 2013, or this UP 2011. And then location. Right. Uh, I'll be going over these in detail in another PowerPoint, but I just want to quickly cover what is MLA and how to cite a paper in MLA. This is very important for students who are uh, who are international students. Uh, they you may be trained or know a little bit about MLA, but this is a real quick refresher for you, because uh, if you are going to an American college and and if you're going to write any essays, you're going to have to know about MLA or APA format. Okay. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care and have a good day. Okay. Bye-bye.